right now for a look in Athens where students and parents are still shaken tonight. Many asking questions about the day Lake and Riley died. Some tonight are also raising concerns about the UGA emergency response system. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates has a story tonight. I have a daughter on campus, very close in age, and knew it could have just as easily been my daughter. UGA parent Rochelle Willis says back on February 22nd, when news came out about Lake and Riley, the Augusta University nursing student killed on UGA campus, she was shocked because she did not receive notification from the school. The school has an emergency response system, and um, they encourage everyone orientation, parents and students, to sign up. They tested the system the week before the murder. When the murder happened, they didn't use the system. Instead, Willis says she was notified by her daughter. My daughter found out from an email when they had an emergency response system that they could have let all the students know immediately that there was a murder and there, the suspect was on the loose. In a statement, school officials confirmed they sent several email notifications to students and staff, but not an alert, saying the University of Georgia Police Department distributed the following timely warning notifications to the university community on February 22nd and 23rd. The statement went on to say parents who want to receive timely warnings should ask their student to log into their UGA alert account and add their parents' email to the profile. But some students say that's not good enough. We were all very confused at that point in time as initially that email was just sent out and it all left us wondering, you know, what is going on on campus. School officials have since announced the allocation of $7.3 million to enhance campus security, which will include a blue light call box emergency system that will stretch across the 760-acre campus. Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News.